Okay, let me cover this quickly here. This is price lines. Let me do the weekly. Look at weekly of price line. Similar to Google, a very powerful, powerful green candle that's taken out some very critical moving averages, the 9 and the 34. It came down almost to kiss the 50-week moving average moving up, which is still trending up. 34 is still trending up. So those are two very important moving averages I look at, those lines. Very, very important. The 9 obviously moves up and down a lot quicker. So here we are. Beautiful candle. Taking that out. Next move is around 12.07. 10 points from here. Once over 12.07 or let's call it 12.11 it goes to 12.37 over 12.37 it's a free flight zone here where it gets very very painful for the bears and the dogmatic shorts who still don't believe that price line can go higher and that's when it goes ballistic okay do the numbers it can go past 1300 it can even touch 14.10 that's the uber bullish or hyper bullish scenario. Let's look at it from a more realistic scenario. Realistic trading ranges are 1235 here on the upside. I've said that before, saying it again. 1235. That's when these things really start moving. 1215 it would be a nice short trading range to trade on. So that's roughly 18 points from here. Still good money to be made. Weekly calls, that's the way to go. They're pricey, but they move. It's like buying a fat stock. So what's the downside? The downside is the stock breaks, comes, takes below, takes out 1130. So that's uh, highly unlikely right now as if well, anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's 60 points from here. 70 points, I'm sorry, 1127. So 70 points roughly. Um, and then all hell breaks loose. Excuse me. Um, we can get down to with the 1,000 level. That's when the bears can really pounce and scream and shout and saying, "Hey, I see price line at 1,000." So can happen, but I don't think the forces of the market will let it happen right now, given the rever uh, thrust, uh, breadth, breadth thrust reversal. I can never say that word. Very, very powerful. Internals are justifying the move, keeping it very simple here, without getting too much into the Fibonacci's and all that. Here we have, um, we have a nice little move here. Stochastic is starting to move up. When was the last time that happened? That's called pattern symmetry. It happened here, but it happened in a hurry. I like this better, where it forms a nice, nice little consolidation flag. Keep on saying that. Let me draw that out for everyone. You do it like this. It's a falling wedge. Bullish falling wedge. Broke out of that. It's beautiful. So again, downside stops on a weekly basis are 1131. Shorter term, the downside stops would be, um, let me, would be right here where the two moving averages kissing. So that's 1171. So let's call it uh, about 25 points from here. So anything below 25 points, I wouldn't be long price line because at that point it's going to come down and test this uh, breakout of the falling wedge. That's 1140. And these are painful moves if you're long and the stock's falling 20, 30 points. I'm sure uh, a lot of us has been bit, and a lot of us have been there, and don't want to ever be there. Um, and uh, the same thing: don't be short when price line is doing this type of candle move. Please don't be a hero. You lose money, you'll break your confidence, and it's terrible for your psyche. Okay. So don't be a price line hater, don't be a price line lover, just trade the charts. So here we are, uh, 1092 is the 50 week moving average. That comes into play if we break below, please write these down, break below 1130. Lower Bollinger's at 1023, I doubt if we get there at this stage. Let's look at... Um, Let's look at uh, a completely different play here, ISRG. I wouldn't touch this stock right now, okay? This is a weekly chart on it. Um, maybe the daily chart sheds a little bit more light. The daily chart, and I've traded this stock, mind you, okay? Nice little can uh, candle here, moved up from 
346 all the way up to 375 looks like it's consolidating so I shouldn't say I shouldn't say I'll probably be touching this stock so we are looking at around 360 as uh, as a floor so below 360 it gets uh, it's shortable all the way down to about 350 but if it holds here and these lines do start to cross over um, we could uh, I could actually draw it like this so 354 would be the line in the sand it could come down and retest that um, it, if it holds 360 it's going to move up and test 376 that's 16 points there to be had the calls are a little freaky but they move they're widespread and there's some vicious market makers in that um, on the on the stock and some option guys and uh, they're not very uh, kind let's just put it this way so tread trade carefully on this um, but you can buy you know a couple hundred shares or a hundred shares and just trade it for 16 you know 20 points lower end I'm looking at uh, 354 it's gonna hold this otherwise it turns around and takes out 377 at that point we are very likely gonna go test 390 397 possibly 400 that's ISRG let's take a look at uh, Tesla one of my perennial favorites also Tesla's broken out at least broken out somewhat it's touching it's kissing this 50-week moving average here at uh, at around 209 we need to get over this once we get over this we're gonna get to 218 fast but as you can clearly see it's made a nice move it's got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven days and out of that only two days have been green yet everybody's so scared of this so you know just shows it's uh, it's getting overbought so be careful on that however McClellan is oscillators are still telling me that it's got room to move up um, Tesla is definitely a trading stock both on the long and short side and at this point we are starting to see some movement break out over the channel okay the daily channel actually I'm showing the daily here let's look at the weekly the weekly is uh, very interesting the weekly is telling me that if this stock it the stock seems to have broken out okay so it looks like it's heading for about again the 220 mark so I got another 13 points in this stock because I was down here so we're sitting pretty okay back and forth we're sitting pretty internals are justifying the move and um, trade Tesla solar city real quick here solar city weekly still has not broken out despite its nice beautiful move on uh, on Friday so we need to really see some movement here on solar city and movement by movement I'm talking about the breakout over over this falling wedge so breakout over 53 let's be safe and say 54 over 54 we attacked the 34 moving average 34 week, week moving average very important line 55 24 once over that we can start moving I'm sorry that's a nine week moving average so once over that we're gonna come back and test 60 so that's is very important we need to break out over 55 in order for solar city to see sunshine okay and then we're looking at 60 and then we're looking at 65 over 65 it's just you know free flight zone I have no idea what it's going to do. It still needs uh, it still needs strong relative strength to do that. What's the downside? The downside is the stock uh, basically breaks below 549. At that point, it slips down towards 47, and then tests the lower Bollinger and the lower arm of the falling wedge. Uh, that's at 42. So lower levels are 49, 47, 4480, and 4262 4240 uh, internals are need, need to really start moving here uh, I'm not fully convinced that this is a, a real move to be honest with you so we need to see this sharp turn sharp turn like this that's when you do this that's when you go from 30 bucks to uh, 60 so here we still got about 10 points in us thank you um, next video will be uh, just a quick commentary